Hello, my name is Minister Terry Scott, and I want to talk to you about having a perfectly embedded system. An embedded system is a small computer that forms part of a larger system device or machine. Its purpose is to control the device and to allow a user to interact with it. They tend to have one or a limited number of tasks that they can perform, domestic appliances such as dishwashers, TVs, and digital phones. I parallel this definition of embedded system to us as human beings. Now, while we're not devices, we too are built to have something embedded in us that functions much like an embedded system made by man. For believers, our embedded system is the Holy Spirit that was not formed but has always existed and part of a larger person being that of the Godhead. His purpose is to control the believer and to seek to interact with him. Unlike man's embedded system, God's embedded system, the Holy Spirit, has unlimited tasks that he can perform in all believers. Man places an embedded system in devices, but only God can embed man with the Holy Spirit. Man's embedded system probably comes with some limited or lifetime warranty. God's embedded system, the Holy Spirit, does not need a warranty because he is eternal. The Holy Spirit embedded in believers does have a ministry to unbelievers. The Holy Spirit through believers carries out his ministry. The result of the Holy Spirit's ministry through believers to unbelievers is the new birth, changed lives. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit is the action by which God takes up permanent residence or, in other words, is embedded in the body of a believer in Jesus Christ, just like an embedded system is placed in a machine or an electronic system. Now, as the Holy Spirit is embedded and lives in the believer, he brings about some life-changing results. The embedded system of the Holy Spirit is used in the human body and acts as a spiritual security and alarm system to keep every believer safe. The Holy Spirit embedded in every believer does it all. To name a few, he comes to a soul dead in sin and creates new life, Titus 3, 5. This is the new birth Jesus spoke of in John 3, verse 1 through 8. He confirms to the believer that he belongs to the Lord and is heir of God and fellow heir with Christ. Romans 8, 15 through 17. He gives spiritual gifts to the believer to edify the church and to serve the Lord effectively for his glory. 1 Corinthians 12, 11. He helps the believer understand and then apply the scripture to his life daily, 1 Corinthians 12, 2. He enriches the, believer, the believer's prayer life and intercedes for him in prayer, Romans 8, 26 through 27. Now, there is more, but let me say that, that he is embedded in every believer to do whatever needs to be done according to the will of God. The embedded system in devices can malfunction, and be replaced. But the indwelling spirit is grieved when the believer sins and he convicts the believers to confess his sin to the Lord so that fellowship is restored. In other words, the sins of a believer will not short circuit and crash the Holy Spirit, but only quash it. He can immediately jumpstart or get jumpstarted again by confession, repentance, obeying God and much prayer. The Holy Spirit is embedded in every believer and he is part of the salvation package when we receive Christ. Activate him. I pray that you are embedded or seek to be embedded with the perfect embedded system of the Holy Spirit over man's embedded system. Thank you and God bless you.